हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ग्लोबल ऑनलाइन स्पर्धा परीक्षा फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम इम्पॉर्टेंट एम सी क्यूज ऑन जनरल नॉलेज फॉर यूर अपकमिंग महाराष्ट्र बी एड सी ई टी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू सो इन स्टेडीज क्लास वी डिस्कस सम एम सी क्यूज ऑन टीचिंग एप्टीट्यूड सो वी कंप्लीटेड थ्री लेक्चर्स ऑन टीचिंग एप्टीट्यूड सो टूडे लेटर्स डिस्कस सम एम सी क्यूज ऑन जनरल जनरल नॉलेज दैट इज जी के देन अगेन इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास वील डिस्कस एम सी क्यूज ऑन अनदर यूनिट येस वेरी गुड इवनिंग ऑल आई एम फ्रेंड्स इफ यू आर प्रिपेरिंग फॉर महाराष्ट्र बी एड सी ई टी हियर द ग्लोबल ऑनलाइन स्पर्धा परीक्षा हैज बॉट अ क्रैश कोर्स सो इन दिस क्रैश कोर्स यू विल गेट कंप्लीट वीडियो लेक्चर्स ऑन द एंटायर सिलेबस कंप्लीट एम सी क्यू लेक्चर्स यू विल गेट ऑन द एंटायर सिलेबस टेन प्लस मॉक टेस्ट आर अवेलेबल 2000 plus practice mcq set is available at very minimum price that is 500 for this you can download global online app from the play store or else you can also contact this number the number is displayed on your screen uh, so just you can send a whatsapp message then we will contact you back and friends you can also download our global online app uh, in play store just type global online in play store then go through this logo you can download then register yourself by using your email id or mobile number then you can access our course here okay friends now i think we can move to the questions yes very good evening to all and i believe you are happy with our lectures i think in another in in coming 20 or 15 days you are going to appear for this maharashtra bed CET i wish all the best to all who are preparing for this exam and if you want any material on any topic yes if you are, if you are having any suggestion to improve our lectures please you can suggest yes i think i am audible to you all so shall we start yes question number 1 the constitution of india was adopted in yes very easy question option a 26 january 1950 option b 26 january 1949 option c 26 november 1949 option d 31 december 1949 so as a citizen of india we must know this answer as already as yes, pragati mamata are commenting the right answer 26 november 1949 yes here option c 26 november 1949 is the correct answer yes very good yes all of you are giving the right answer for this question is yes, the republic is governed in terms of constitution of india and the indian constitution uh, it was adopted on 26 november 1949 and remember it came into force on 26 january 1950 so we celebrate 26 january as a republic day yes this is about constitution of india it was adopted in 26 november 1949 and it came into force on 26 january 1950 so so we celebrate 26 january as republic day yes now question number now question number 2 Tansen an excellent musician was within the court of option A Akbar option B Bahadur Shah option C Rana Kumba option D uh, Krishna Deva Rai is very easy question but already answer is also displayed on the screen here yes here uh, as you all know Tansen he was musician he was in the court of Akbar Yes, so option E is the correct answer. Yes, Tansen he was a musician. He joined the court of Mughal Emperor Akbar. Then Tansen became one of the Navaratnas. Yes, this you have to remember. Tansen was one of the Navaratnas. Yes, now question number three. Where is National Sugar Institute established? ऑप्शन ए कानपुर ऑप्शन बी न्यू दिल्ली ऑप्शन सी लखनऊ ऑप्शन डी गाजरोला यस वेर इज द नेशनल शुगर इंस्टीट्यूट एस्टैब्लिश्ड
yes you can comment the answer comment the answer for question number 3 yes very good evening yes comment the answer for question number 3 where is the national sugar institute established option a kanpur option b uh, new delhi option c lucknow option d gajrola yes here yes, shivani is saying option a yes po uh, of puja is saying option b yes yes here the right here the right answer is option a is the correct answer as yes, the national sugar institute it is located in uh, kanpur yes pragati option a is the right answer and if you go through the national sugar institute it was founded in the year of 1936 please remember it and uh, it was established uh, it was founded in kanpur uh, in the state of uttar pradesh and it is in kalyanpur yes it is in kanpur and it is a part of ministry of consumer affairs yes this you must remember is yes, the national sugar institute it comes under the uh, ministry of consumer affairs and it is going to conduct research training and also some services for the sugar yes this is about national sugar institute Yes, let us move to the question number 4 the nagarjun sagar project is made on the river option a kaveri option b krishna option c godavari option d indus here on the right side questions are also there in marathi yes you can go through it Yes, Nagarjun Sagar project is made on the river. Nagarjun Sagar prakal nadi var banavla aye. Option A Kaveri, Option B Krishna, Option C Godavari, Option D Indus. Yes, here Jasmiti is saying B, Pragati is saying B. Yes, if you are preparing for Maharashtra B A, you feel these questions are very easy. You must prepare for these questions. Yes, Jasmeet is also saying B. Yes, here option B, Krishna River is the right answer. Yes, Nagarjuna Sagar project. Yes, it is on the river Krishna. Yes, uh, if you go through this Nagarjuna Sagar Dam, it was built ac across the river Krishna, and it is between Nalgonda district in Telangana. Yes, this you must remember. it is between nalgonda district in telangana and guntur district in andhra pradesh yes please remember it the nagarjuna sagar dam it is between telangana and andhra pradesh and the construction duration of the dam was between 1955 to 1966 please remember the construction of nagarjuna sagar dam was started after an independent between 1955 and 1967 yes mamata option b is the correct here yes now question number 5 ibrd is additionally known as option a international bank option b international bank for reconstruction and development option c asian development bank option d bank of america Yes, this is also a very easy question. I B R D. Yes, I B R D is additionally known as.
Yes, here option B is the correct answer. Yes, yeah, International Bank for Reconstruction and Development. Yes, please remember IBRD stands for International Bank for Reconstruction and Development. Yes, the International Bank for Reconstruction and Development which is known as the IBRD and remember it is an international financial institution and it will uh, it will give loan to the middle income developing countries and it is uh, established in the year of 19, 1944 and the headquarter of I, IBRD is located in Washington DC United States yes many times questions has a question has arise on the headquarter of the IBRD yes uh, not option C Mamta option B IBRD stands for International Bank for Reconstruction and Development option B is correct and please remember in, uh, many times the question has arisen on IBRD's headquarter that is located in Washington DC in, uh, in United States it established in the year of 1944 yes. let us move to the next question question number six the Gupta king who assumed the title of Vikramaditya was yes who was the Gupta king was having the title of Vikramaditya. Option A, Skanda Gupta. Option B, Samudra Gupta. Option C, Chandra Gupta 2. Option D, Kumara Gupta. This is the Gupta king who was assumed the title of Vikramaditya. Yes, Mamata, you are saying something, sir. English medium are the same question, Ratilka. It means, yes, in an examination, uh, questions will be same in Marathi medium and English medium. The questions will be same. Yes, I believe it is clear to Mamata. Pragati is saying option B, Samudra Gupta. Prachi is saying option B. The Gupta king whose title was Vikramaditya. Yes, here the right answer is option C is correct. Ch uh, Chandra Gupta 2. Yes, not option C. Option C is correct here. Yes, very good evening Ashwini. Yes, here option C. Chandra Gupta 2 is the correct answer. Yes, please remember the Gupta king who assumed the title of Vikramaditya was Chandra Gupta 2. Yes, Shivani option B is correct. Yes, Chandra Gupta 2 is also known as the Vikramaditya. Yes, he was, he, he was also a powerful emperor of North India. And remember, the Chandra Gupta II was son of Samudra Gupta. Yes, who, uh, Chandra Gupta was Chandra Gupta II was the son of Samudra Gupta, and he was the grandson of Chandra Gupta One. Yes, please don't confuse here. Chandra Gupta II was known as the Vikramaditya, and he was the son of Samudra Gupta and grandson of grandson of Chandra Gupta One. Yes, questions will be in how many languages? Yes, questions will be in English and also in Marathi. Yes, Jasmith, uh, questions will be in English and also in Marathi. Yes. Let us move to uh, question number 7. Yes, both the, in both the languages. Question number 7. Part 4 of the, Indi of the Constitution of India deals with. Yes, part 4 of the Constitution of India deals with. Option A, Fundamental Rights. Option B, Citizenship. Option C, Directive Principles of State Policy. Option D, Union Executive. Yes, Vinay is saying option A. And remember friends when it comes to G, uh, GK questions, 
so most of the questions will be based on memory based only means you if you are read then only you are able to answer there is no matter of understanding here for example part 4 of the constitution of india deal india deals with is yes, uh, by understanding the question by other methods we are unable to solve if you are read somewhere then only we can answer it yes or no so you you must read to answer gk question but when it comes to teaching aptitude questions if you, if you haven't studied also by understanding the question you can easily answer but this is not the case in gk from gk you will be having 30 questions i think is yes, part 4 of the indian constitution deals with is yes, let me say the answer is yes, vinay is saying a puja is saying b no uh, part 4 of the constitution of india deals with directive principles of state policy as yes, please remember option c is correct here directive principles of state policy and i believe friends to attain uh, to attend this B uh, maharashtra blc examination you must go through the uh, textbooks from 7 standard to till 12 standard if you read all the history geography political and economics books most of the questions will be covered from class 7 to up to class 12 yes okay uh, shivani option c is correct yes directive principles of state policy part 4 of the constitution deals with directive principles of state policy and uh, this part 4 directive principles of state policy comes under the article of 36 to 51 please remember this also 36 to 51 and these directive principles are borrowed from constitution of ireland and ireland it has copied from spanish constitution please remember the main origin is from Spanish and India copied from Ireland. Okay, Mamata, let us move to the question number 8. The author of the book My Country, My Life is. Yes, the author of the book My Country, My Life. Option A, uh, L.K. Adwani. Option B, Jaswant Singh. Option C, Dilip Kumar. Option D, Sunil Gavaskar. Yes, here Pooja is saying option D. Uh, please think once again. Prachi is saying option A. Yes, others. My country, my life. Yes, very famous book it is. Pragati is also saying A. Yes, here the right answer is option a lal krishna advani lk advani uh, he is the author of the book my country my life yes because my country my life it is an it is an auto autobiography of lk advani yes as you all know about him he was very good indian politician yes uh, he was indian politician who served as the deputy prime minister of india from 2002 to 2004 and he was also the leader of opposition in 15th Lok Sabha. Yes, sometimes question may arise on his serving period. So he was the deputy prime minister from 2002 to 2004. You must remember it. Okay, let us move to question number 9. The partition of Bengal was revoked by the British government in the year. Yes, uh, when this Bengal partition, partition has been taken place by the British government. Option A, 1907. Option B, 1917. Option C, 1911. Option D, 1921. Yes, here Ashwini is saying D. Mamata is saying A.
when it comes to history we must remember these years for me it, uh, it is very difficult to remember the years so for that for that we must use some tricks and all okay we can write it in a book and we can repeat again and again then we can remember very easily prachi is saying c yes here the right answer is option c 1911 is the correct answer the partition of bengal was revoked by the british government in the year of 1911 yes in 1911 the british government revoked the partition of bengal and in 1911 the capital was shifted from kolkata to delhi yes this also you must remember yes very related uh, information it is yes prachi option c is correct 1911 yes uh, in uh, in 1911 the ba bengal partition partition will take place and in that period the capital of bengal was kolkata and it will shift to delhi this also you must remember okay let us move to the question number 10 yes blue revolution is related to blue revolution is related to option a space research option b irrigation option c fisheries option d drinking water blue revolution sambandhit hai space irrigation fisheries or drinking water is very easy question i i feel Yes, here Pooja is saying option C. Yes, Devesh is saying option C. Yes, Rasika, Namrata. Yes, we are. We have studied about blue revolution. I think in our primary education only. Yes. Hi, Pragati is saying D. Pragati, will you please think once again? Blue revolution. i am sure it is not associated associated with the drinking water yes here uh, the blue revolution it is uh, associated with fisheries yes please remember pragati please make a correction priyanka also not with uh, space research blue revolution is related to fisheries okay blue revolution it is also please remember blue revolution it is also known as the neel kranti or neeli kranti yes you must remember this and uh, it was launched in india in 1980 by 1990 please remember the established year many times questions will arise and and uh, every year in you know many examination we get questions on green revolution blue revolution yellow revolution and all yes this blue revolution uh it was launched in india in the year of 1980 by to 1990 and the, uh, at that time the seventh five year plan was running yes the five year plan also very important during that period seventh five year plan was running yes thank you welcome jasmeet the main what was the main objective here the main objective was to develop manage and promote the fisheries and also to uh, double the farmers income yes please remember yes okay mamta option c is the right answer okay now we'll move to the question number 11 yes shivani option c is correct bauxite is an ore of one of the following metals yes bauxite it is an ore of one of the following metals option a aluminium option b silver option c tin option d steel bauxite it is an ore of Jasmeet is saying option A. Yes, Shivani sir, B. Ed. C. E. T. Sati. Kiti marks lag till sir passing sati. Yes, about that. Ah, uh, 
i will explain you in the next class yes okay otherwise i will make a short video on that then i will upload and i will send you is it clear okay rizwan is saying a ashwini is saying c neelam is saying a yes okay very soon i will make a short video on that yes here the right answer is option a aluminium option a is correct and uh, and also uh, shivani and others uh, related to bed exam and examination pattern and syllabus everything you will get on our uh, global online spardha pariksha channel yes just go to youtube and uh, just type spardha global online spardha pariksha and uh, please go through the playlist in that playlist you will get uh, uh, maharashtra bed cet in that playlist you will get everything go through the first second videos in the in those videos clearly we have given all the details about the syllabus exam examination pattern everything is mentioned there yes rizwan option a aluminium is the correct answer bauxite it is an ore of the aluminium yes uh, let us see some more information regarding this bauxite many times questions will ar uh, arise on this types of ore so bauxite it is an aluminium rich sedimentary rock form form from laterite soil yes please remember it bauxite it is going to form from laterite soil and it is found especially in tropical or trop subtropical region and uh, bauxite it is used for the production of aluminium yes we know it and this you must remember bauxite it is a non ferrous metallic mineral yes in a way in various manufacturing activities we are going to use it and it is also found in tertiary deposits it is it is associated with the laterites laterite rocks and also please this you must remember odisha is the uh, largest bauxite producing state yes please remember odisha is the largest bauxite producing state in india yes mamata priyanka yes option a is correct yes question number 12 the capital of andaman and nicobar island is yes i feel very easy question we have studied in our primary education only the capital of andaman and nicobar island option a port blair option b diu option c kolkata option d tirupati Yes, Vinay is saying B. Vinay, please think once again. Mamta is saying A. And these are purely memory-based questions. If we did not read, we are unable to answer. Yes, Nila is saying A. Yes, all of you are saying A. Sonia is saying D U. Devesh A. Priyanka A. Yes, here. Ah, uh, Vidya A. Yes, option A is the correct answer. Is yes, the capital of Andaman and Nicobar Island is Port Blair. Yes, please remember. No Badal, ba no Badal. Kolkata is not correct answer. Ah, uh, here the right answer is option uh, option A, Port Blair. Yes, Port Blair. It is the capital city of Andaman and Nicobar Island. Please remember, and it is an association region of India, arranged in, arranged in the Bay of Bengal. Please remember, it is in Bay of Bengal, and uh, this one is isolated by it by more than one eleven eighty eight kilometer from the nearest point, uh, main mainland India. Yes, from mainland India, it is isolated from more than one thousand one hundred and eighty-eight kilometers. Yes, question number thirteen. Bar is the unit of B A R. 
बार इज द यूनिट ऑफ ऑप्शन ए हीट ऑप्शन बी टेम्परेचर ऑप्शन सी करेंट ऑप्शन डी एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर बार इट इज द यूनिट ऑफ ममता इज सेइंग ए एस डू कमेंट द आंसर एस शिवानी डी सोनिया डी ममता इज सेइंग ए विद्या इज सेइंग डी आई पील इफ यू आर फ्रॉम साइंस बैकग्राउंड वेरी इजीली यू कैन आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन एस प्राची सिंह डी एस जसमित डी एस हियर ऑप्शन डी इज द करेक्ट आंसर बार इट इज द यूनिट ऑफ एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर एस प्लीज रिमेंबर एस देन द यूनिट ऑफ लेंथ इज मीटर द यूनिट ऑफ प्रेशर इज बार द यूनिट ऑफ मास इज किलोग्राम एंड द यूनिट ऑफ फोर्स इज न्यूटन Please remember the this also. Yes, Nilam, D is the right answer. Yes, now question number fourteen. Right to vote. It is a option A, political right. Option B, civil right. Option C, economic right. Option D, legal right. Yes, the people who are above the age of eighteen, they can participate in voting. This is. Yes, Mamata B R Sati. Konte question rati. Yes, there will be questions on teaching aptitude, and also you will get questions on general knowledge, and also on mental ability. You will get questions. Is it clear? Yes, Prachi is saying it is a civil right. Shivani is saying it is a legal right. Neelam civil right. Priyanka B. Yes, Jasmeet Kaur is saying B. Yes, right to vote. Just remember in which subject you have read this in your primary education when you are uh, when you are in seventh, eighth, or uh, sixth or fifth standard. You read about it. Yes or no? In which subject you have read it? Yes. in civics there is there was history there was political science there was geography there was economics yes or no civics also was divided into four units i think history geography political science and economics yes in in each unit we have studied about the right to vote Yes, Sonia. I also preparing for elect. Sir, guide sir best to score. Yes, Sonia. We are conducting daily live classes. You can go through our live classes, and you can if you go through our playlist, you will get many classes. Yes, we are daily. We are uploading lectures, and also you are taking these type of live classes. You can attend. Yes, on uh, on general B A C E T subjects and marking criteria. Yes, I think we have we have uploaded video on our channel. Just go through the YouTube, type Global Online Sparda Pariksha, then open the channel, then go through the playlist. Open the playlist. There is a playlist name uh, Maharashtra B A C E T. If you open that playlist, uh, go through the beginning videos from starting. If you open two three videos, in that clearly we mentioned everything. If you won't get, you can contact me. I will tell you. Is it clear?
yes okay if you have any confusion if you want any information yes don't worry you can call you can just send a whatsapp message to this number yes we will give information yes we are always there to help you yes right to vote yes i believe you remember we studied in political science right yes i even i remember uh, about right to vote we studied in a political science yes or no so it is a political right please remember right to vote it is a political right so there are also some other political rights here uh, for example right to vote it is also a political right then right to get elected right to hold public office right to petition right to form political parties right to criticize right to oppose the government these are all some political rights here yes i believe it is clear to all so right to vote it is a political right not civil and legal okay yes now question number 15 uh, koneru hampi koneru hampi he is associated with which game option a lawn tennis option b hockey option c chess option d badminton yes mamta is saying option d badminton sonia is saying chess shivani tennis this vidya is saying a yes here a uh, koneru hampi uh is as she is associated with the chess please remember koneru hampi she is associated with chess okay shivani vidya option c is the correct answer yes namrata c is the right answer yes koneru hampi you can see her you can see her photo here koneru hampi she was born on 31st march 1987 she is an indian chess player He, uh, she was best known for winning the FI DPI Women's Rap Women's Rapid Chess Championship in the year 2019. Yes, please try to remember Konero Hampi. She was the winner of FI FI D Women's Rapid Chess Championship in the year 2019. Yes, I believe it is clear. Yes, Mamata, C is correct answer. Chess. okay yes now let us see question number 16 which among the following is a central university in uttar pradesh option a dr dr ram manohar lohia avad university faizabad option b mahatma gandhi kashi vidyapeeth varanasi option c chatrapati shahu ji maharaj university kanpur option d allahabad university allahabad which is the सेंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटी इन उत्तर प्रदेश हर्षल इज सेंग ए विद्या इज सेंग बी Yes, here the right answer is option D, Allahabad University. It is a central university in Uttar Pradesh. Rizwan, no. Option D is correct. Yes, Nilima, option D, you are uh, you are right. 
अलाहाबाद यूनिवर्सिटी इज नोन एज देंट्रल यूनिवर्सिटी इन उत्तर प्रदेश Yes, here you can see the picture of Allahabad University. It is a central university in Uttar Pradesh. It was established on twenty third September eighteen eighty seven, and this Allahabad University it was established by an act of the Parliament, and it is a recognized institute of national importance. Yes, please remember, Allahabad University it has received the award of national importance. it is also one of the oldest modern universities in india let's priyanka option d is correct answer allahabad university allahabad it is a central university in uttar pradesh yes question number 17 the chemical that is used in making artificial rain is option a silver nitrate option b silver iodide option c silver nitrate sorry it is repeated option d silver chloride yes arshal is saying option a silver nitrate vinay silver nitrate prachi silver chloride nilima option a s d c sharad is saying a yes here option b is correct answer silver iodide yes please remember in the chemical which is used in the artificial rain it is silver iodide yes jasmeet shivani sharad option b is correct Yes, silver iodide. It is also known as the dry ice. Yes, it is a solid carbon dioxide. Yes, it is used to supply naturally deficient clouds with the proper concentration of ice crystals to increase the rainfall. Is it clear? So, silver iodide, or it is also known as the dry ice or solid carbon dioxide. Yes, what it is going to do? It is going to supply naturally deficient clouds. Yes, with the proper concentration of the ice crystals. So here, option B is the right. Yes, question number eighteen. Which of the following is the hardest substance in the human body? Option A, bone. Option B, enamel. Option C, nail. Option D, none of these. which of the following is the hardest substance in the human body if no comment the answer for question number question number 18 rasika is saying a sharad a Yes, Shivani B. Yes, here option B is correct answer. Yes, please make a correction. We have answered wrong. Option B, enamel is the right answer. It is the hardest substance in the human body. Vidya, option B is correct. Means teeth are the hardest substance in the human body. The enamel on your teeth is the hardest and most highly mineralized substance in your body yes please remember enamel is the hardest substance which is on teeth in our body and it covers the outer layer of each tooth and it is the most visible part of the tooth and it is made up of minerals primarily hydro uh, yes yeah it is made up of the many minerals and please uh, hydro Zai Pai Tai. Yes, sorry, I am unable. I think I pronounced it wrongly. Yes, please make a correction. So it is enamel. It is the hardest substance in our body. Yes, Mamata, chess was the right answer. Yes, I believe I am clear about this question. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइनटीन एग्रीकल्चरल इनकम टैक्स इज अ सोर्स ऑफ रेवेन्यू टू ऑप्शन ए सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट ऑप्शन बी स्टेट गवर्नमेंट ऑप्शन सी लोकल एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ऑप्शन डी सेंटर एंड स्टेट गवर्नमेंट्स कमेंट द आंसर पर क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइनटीन एग्रीकल्चरल इनकम टैक्स इट इज अ सोर्स ऑफ रेवेन्यू टू मिस कोमल इज सेइंग ऑप्शन ए मीन्स टू सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट विद्या इज सेइंग ए रसिका डी शिवानी सी Yes, the tax which is imposed on agricultural land or agricultural income. Yes, it is the source of state government. Please remember the tax which is which is imposed on the agricultural land. It goes to the state government. So option B is correct. Yes, please make a correction. Agriculture in income tax and please also remain remember it comes under the section two into one a section two into one a has per the section two into one a agriculture income generally means any rent or revenue derived from the land which is situated in India is used for agricultural purposes so agriculture income tax it is the source for state government. it comes under the section 2 into 1a which is it is the revenue which is received from agricultural land which is which is located in india itself yes sonia option b is correct state government priyanka option b is correct yes question number 20 how many seats does maharashtra have in the rajya sabha option a 9 seats option b 12 seats option c 16 seats ऑप्शन डी 19 सीट्स इन राज्य सभा हाउ मेनी सीट्स डज महाराष्ट्र हैव इन राज्य सभा यस शिवानी दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन विल कम इन जनरल बी एड सी टी एग्जाम इन जी के सेक्शन इन जी के यूल बी हैविंग थर्टी क्वेश्चन यूल रिसी द क्वेश्चन विल बी ऑन ऑथर एंड बुक्स on history geography on science yes some are saying a some are saying d yes let us see the right answer badal is saying c yes the right answer is option d 19 seats are there in in rajya sabha from the state maharashtra Yes, Vidya. D is correct answer. Nineteen seats. Yes, the Rajya Sabha. It is the upper house of the Parliament, and Maharashtra elects nineteen seats. And remember, all these nineteen seats are elected indirectly. Yes. Question number twenty-one. We are having another ten questions. How many seats does Maharashtra have in Lok Sabha? ऑप्शन ए ट्वेंटी एट सीट्स ऑप्शन बी फोर्टी एट सीट्स ऑप्शन सी फिफ्टी एट सीट्स ऑप्शन डी सिक्सटी एट सीट्स हाउ मेनी सीट्स डज महाराष्ट्र हैव इन लोकसभा सोनिया इन राज्यसभा महाराष्ट्र इज हैविंग नाइनटीन सीट्स इज करेक्ट यस मेनी आर सेइंग ऑप्शन बी फोर्टी एट Yes, very good. Option B, forty-eight seats is the right answer. Yes, question number twenty-two. Yes, man takes birth pre, but he is chained on all sides. Who gave this legislation? I think we have studied this in our B. Ed. Man takes birth pre. But he is chained on all sides. Who gave this legislation? And in in beard, you will go through this legislation. Yes, it is given by Will Will Kilpatrick W I Kilpatrick 
ऑप्शन बी अब्राहम मास्लो ऑप्शन सी जा जीन जाकस रूसो ऑप्शन डी जॉन डीवी मैन टेक्स बर्थ फ्री बट ही इज चाइल्ड ऑन ऑल द साइड्स दिस स्टेटमेंट इज गिवन बाय हुम फोर ऑप्शन आर गिवन हियर दिस कमेंट द आंसर इस जसमित इज सींग ए जे जे रूसो बादल इज सींग ए शिवानी सिंह डी प्रियंका डी यस इन लोकसभा आई टोल नो फोर्टी एट सीट्स यस प्राची इन लोकसभा देर आर फोर्टी एट सीट्स फ्रॉम महाराष्ट्र स्टेट ममता सिंह बी यस दिस स्टेटमेंट इज गिवन बाय जे जे रूसो प्लीज रिमेम्बर Yes, the phrase "man is born free, but he is everywhere in chains." Rousseau observed that modern states repress the physical freedom, that is, ah, uh, birthright, and do nothing to secure the civil freedom. For the sake of which we enter into civil society. Yes, this statement is given by J. J. Rousseau. He says that the man has born free, but He is everywhere in chains. Means he is under the control of the state. Means he is under the control of the government. So, is not option B. Option C is correct. J. J. Rousseau. Okay. Question number twenty-three. Soil of which region is formed by weathering of volcanic rock ash? A soil of which region? has he is formed by weathering of volcanic rock ash option a western ghat option b thar desert option c himalayan region option d deccan plateau let's comment the answer for question number 23 Rasika is saying Western Ghats, Shivani Deccan Plateau. Mamata D. Yes, Badal D. Yes, you are correct. Deccan Plateau is the right answer. Yes, the the black soil or black cotton soil is also known as the regar soil. Yes, they are found in Deccan Plateau, and they are formed. This the black soil or black cotton soil or regar soil. It is formed due to the weathering of igneous rocks. And remember, igneous rocks are also known as the basalt rocks. So option D, Deccan Plateau, is the correct answer. Ah, uh, no, Mamata. Agricultural income tax, the revenue which is earned from agricultural income or land revenue, it goes only to the state government. Okay. Yes. Question number twenty-four. Direct democracy is present in which of the following countries? Option A, Switzerland. Option B, Nepal. Option C, America. Option D, India. Type the answer for question number twenty-four. Uh, yes, we'll uh, surely we'll try to make video on previous year question question paper. Yes, sure, Shivani. Ah, uh, I know Shivani. India is having. indirect democracy yes we send members to the parliament and they will elect 
yes or no so it is indirect democracy india is following indirect democracy no india is not the correct answer yes direct democracy is followed in switzerland okay option a is correct and direct democracy means it is also called pure democracy here participation of citizens in democratic decisions making here in in this form of democracy direct participation of citizens in a democratic decision in contrast to the indirect or representative democracy means here citizens are going to take the decision they are going to elect yes but in india we are going to we are going to send members to the parliament they are going to elect the president and some other members is it clear so india is following indirect democracy switzerland is following direct democracy no priyanka option a is correct Question number twenty five. Which state has made rainwater harvesting compulsory for all houses? Option A, Gujarat. Option B, Tamil Nadu. Option C, Rajasthan. Option D, Maharashtra. Which state has made rainwater harvesting compulsory for all houses? Yes, here Tamil Nadu is the correct answer. Yes, option B, Tamil Nadu. Yes, Tamil Nadu. It is the first and the only state in India which has made root top rainwater harvesting compulsory. Yes, please remember option A is the right answer. And amendments made to section two one pi a. of tamil nadu direct uh, di uh, uh, and district municipalities act 1920 and building rules 1973 yes amendments which are coming under the section 21 pi a in a of tamil nadu one first act is di district municipalities act 1920 and building rules act 1973 both have made mandatory to provide rain water harvesting to all the new buildings yes option b tamil nadu is the right answer yes sonia shivani tamil nadu is correct question number 26 between whom is the dispute over siachen glacier option a india and pakistan option b india and nepal option c india and china option d india and afghanistan between whom is the dispute over the siachen glacier Let's yes, comment answer for question number twenty six. Yes, okay. We'll also try to cover uh, mental ability. Yes, I'll also come with surely I will come with mental ability questions. Yes, here all are saying China. but this is not correct siachen glacier yes the dispute between which are the two nations over the siachen glacier sonia is saying a between india and pakistan yes option a india and pakistan is the correct answer no prabhakar option a is correct india and pakistan yes the siachen conflict it is also known as siachen glacier conflict or it is also known as siachen war yes it is a military conflict between india and pakistan 
yes, over the thousand square mile Siachen Glacier region in Kashmir. So option A is correct. India and Pakistan. Yes, question number 27. Which of the following is called the father of, yes, who is known as the father of white revolution? Option A, Har Govind Quran. Option B, Varghese Kurian. Option C, MS Swaminathan. Option D, PK Sethi. Can anyone tell with which revolution MS Swaminathan is associated? M.S. Swaminathan is known as the father of which revolution in India? Can anyone comment? M.S. Swaminathan is the father of which revolution? Yes, if you know, you can comment. Yes, M.S. Yes, very yes, very good, Shivani. You are correct. M.S. Swaminathan was the father of Green Revolution, and Green Revolution was associated with increase in the food production, especially in case of wheat and rice. Okay, and uh, uh, White Revolution is associated with the production of milk. Okay, and who is known as the father of Green Revolution? Yes, many. Many have answered correctly. Vargis Kurian. Yes, weak Vargis Kurian is the right answer. Yes, Sonia, you are correct. M.S. Swaminathan is associated with Green Revolution. He was known as the father of Green Revolution in India. And who is the father of Green Revolution in the world? M.S. Swaminathan was the father of Green Revolution in India. And who is the father of green revolution in, in the world? If you know, you can comment. Yes, Norman Borlong. He is the father of Green Revolution in the world. And M.S. Swaminathan, he is the father of Green Revolution in India. Please remember, many times questions have arisen, in many exams, questions have arisen on Green Revolution, White Revolution and all. Okay, the revolution is, uh, White Revolution is associated with the increase in the production of milk. And Varghese Kurian is known as the father of white revolution. Yes, very good, Sonia. Norman Borlong he is the father of green revolution in the world. Yes, very good. Yes, Sonia, you are also right. Question number 28. Which is India's highest award in cinema? Option A, Dada Sahib Palke Award. Option B, Academy Award. Option C, Film Pair. Option D, EPA. IIAPA. I think. Yes, will you please answer? Which is the India's highest award in cinema? And I, uh, EPA stands for, I think, International Indian Film Academy Award. International Indian Film Award. IIAPA stands for. Yes, now comment the answer for question number 28. Yes, some, uh, Shivani is saying A, others are saying D, Sharad is saying A. Yes, German Singh is saying option A. Yes, you are correct. Uh, the highest film award in India is 
दादा साहेब पालके अवार्ड ऑप्शन ए इज करेक्ट ये दादा साहेब पालके अवार्ड इट इज इंडिया हाइएस्ट अवार्ड इन द फील्ड ऑफ सिनेमा इंडस्ट्री एंड इट इज प्रेजेंटेड एनुअली प्लीज रिमेम्बर इट इज प्रेजेंटेड एट नैशनल फिल्म अवार्ड सेरेमनी बाय द डायरेक्टर ऑफ फिल्म फेस्टिवल्स एंड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सेटअप बाय द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन एंड ब्रॉडकास्टिंग यस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन प्लीज रिमेम्बर यस डायरेक्टर ऑफ फिल्म फेस्टिवल इट कम्स अंडर द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन एंड ब्रॉडकास्टिंग क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी नाइन होम रूल लीग वॉज एस्टैब्लिश्ड बाय यस होम रूल लीग वॉज एस्टैब्लिश्ड बाय ऑप्शन ए बाल गंगाधर तिलक ऑप्शन बी पी एस मेहता ऑप्शन सी एस 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 एन बैनर्जी ऑप्शन डी मौलाना अब्दुल कलाम आजाद होम रूल लीग यस होम रूल होम रूल लीग की स्थापना को Yes. Do comment the answers first. Yes. Shivani is saying Bal Gangadhar Tilak. Yes. Mamata is also saying option A. Harshal option B. Shivani A. प्रभाकर ए ममता इंडियन पार्क एज करेक्ट बादल ए यस ऑप्शन ए इज करेक्ट हि होम रूल लीग वाज एस्टैब्लिश्ड बाय बाल गंगाधर तिलक जर्मन सिंह नो ऑप्शन ए इज करेक्ट बाल गंगाधर तिलक यस होम रूल लीग इट इज आइदर ऑफ टू शॉर्ट लिव्ड ऑर्गनाइजेशन ऑफ द सेम नेम इन इंडिया इट वॉज एस्टैब्लिश इन द एप्रिल एंड सेप्टेंबर नाइनटीन सिक्सटीन रेस्पेक्टिवली बाय इंडियन नेशनलिस्ट बाल गंगाधर तिलक एंड ब्रिटिश सोशल रिफॉर्मर एंड इंडियन इंडिपेंडेंस लीडर एनी बेसेंट प्लीज रिमेम्बर वन मोर नेम इज एसोसिएटेड विद द होम रूल लीग इज एनी बेसेंट Any Besant was Indian independence leader. Okay, friends. Ah, uh, the last question of today's session is, which of the following scientist was associated with the first nuclear explosion in in Pokhran? Yes, who is which of the following scientist was associated with the first nuclear explosion in Pokhran? ऑप्शन ए सतीश धवन ऑप्शन बी राजा रामन्ना ऑप्शन सी विक्रम साराबाई ऑप्शन डी एस एस भटनागर यस सर मजे नाव का ये नहीं यस आई आई थिंक आई एम प्रोनाउ प्रोनाउंसिंग रॉन्ग नो युअर नेम Yes, I am really sorry if I am pronouncing your name wrongly. Yes, comment the answer for question number thirty. This is the last question of today's session. Shivani is saying option C. Prabhakar Shinde is saying option C. Badal is saying option C. Sharad is saying option C.
yes let us move to the answer this shall i give some more second and i'll give you a hint option c is not correct here which of the following scientists was associated with the first nuclear explosion in pokhran yes any other options other than c yes prachi is saying b mamata a geeta is saying c shivani is saying satish dhawan Satish Dhawan is also wrong answer. Yes, let us move to answer. Here the right answer is Raja Ramanna. Option B is correct. I, uh, I think yes, Prachi has answered. Yes, the uh, Raja Ramanna was associated with the first nuclear explosion in. in pokhran yes yes prachi you are correct option b is correct yes all of you please remember the right answer is raja ramanna yes it was conducted in may 1974 yes uh, in the backdrop of the indo pak war 1971 and raja ramanna was the scientist who was associated with the first nuclear explosion in pokhran Yes, I believe it is clear. Okay, friends, this is about our today's session. And if you are preparing for Maharashtra B.Ed. C.E.T. exam 2022, Global Online Sparda Pariksha has announced a complete crash course here. Here you will, if you join to this crash course, you will get complete video lectures, complete MCQ lectures. You will receive. You will also get ten plus mock tests. Yes, in the same way how the examination will be conducted, in the same way ten mock tests are arranged here. You will also receive two thousand plus practice MCQ set PDF. So it is very useful for your quick revision. Here there are this crash course is available only at rupees five hundred. For this you can download global online app from the Play Store, or else you can contact eight one seven nine one three eight four one three. Yes uh thank you i wish all the best to all thank you all and again tomorrow we'll meet with another session at 7 pm okay thank you all